Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Grid Ball by Vector7 Games. This is a two-player semi-abstract game in which players are going to be playing on one side of the grid ball formation. They will be attempting to move, load, and shoot the grid ball into their opponent's net. And your objective is to get three goals. As you go around shooting, you'll be trying to basically arrange it so that the ball will bounce into certain areas, land off of your characters, and a diagonally arrange the ball so that it will hit one of the final grid points needed for the net. If an opponent deflects the shot or blocks it, it could go bounce back, so it kind of has this like pinball theme going on. Every single time a score is made, the board will get reset and players will continue playing the game. Each round is actually really quick, and the balls are going to be bouncing everywhere as you attempt to get them into the nets. Will you score three goals before your opponent in grid ball? Find out now with my setup, my explanation of the game, and finally my review. To set up a game of grid ball, simply take out the board and place it face up in front of all players. Then each player will choose a color, red or blue. The space is provided on the lines where you'll be placing each of your characters. And of course, in subsequent games, after you've played your first, you'll have a wide variety of different locations to place your characters. Then select the center ball and place it in the center circle space. Give each player one of their colored die, and then set the range die in the middle of the table for all players to reach. After you've done so, set the rule book aside in the box, and you're ready to begin the game. To begin the game grid ball, simply have each player take their colored die and roll. The player with the highest roll will be the player who starts the game. On your turn, you can take three actions. The actions are move, load, and shoot. You can take any of those actions up to three times in any combination. When you choose to move, you'll simply choose one of your four characters and move him or her along the grid. You can select one space adjacent, and then after your first movement with the same character, you can move twice if you would like for one action. You may only move in a straight line when taking that action though. Additionally, you can load. If your character is adjacent to the ball, you can go ahead and take that ball and place it on top of your character. When you do so, your character now has the ball and will be able to shoot the ball. Keeping a ball loaded is important, but if a player is adjacent to you and it is their turn, they can choose to take the ball and load it onto their character for an action as well. The final action is going to be called shoot, and shoot works pretty simply. If you have the ball and it is on your character and you are wanting to shoot it into your opponent's net, you will take the shoot action. You'll simply take either the long range or the short range die, select either one or both of them, and then roll. After that, you will check the number and determine the direction of the ball. Next thing will happen is each player is going to roll their colored die, and the player that rolls the higher number will be able to move one of their characters one space to hopefully position themselves to block the goal. After they move, the, the, the shot will fire and hopefully enter the net. If you score a goal, the game will get reset. You'll get one point and you need three in order to win. And that's basically the idea of the game. There are some unique nuances to the game, however. If you go to shoot, for instance, and a player is blocking your shot after you choose a direction, that ball will ricochet, and that player will choose where it ricochets. If, however, you shoot the shot and it lands on top of a character, that player will get a chance to reshoot, and you'll follow the steps of shooting again. If the ball bounces off of one of these circles along the grid lines, the ball will bounce. However, if it does not and it bounces out of the grid, then the ball will simply come back. So sometimes the ball is going to bounce um, most of the time and other times it can be reshot. And then of course, uh, sometimes it will just simply have to be placed back on the board. Uh, so some other useful notes as well is you're able to check players. If you are adjacent to a player and you wish to move, you can push them one space. If this is your second movement, meaning your double movement, you can go ahead and flip them over. Basically, they've kind of toppled over and they will not be able to move on their next turn until at the end of that turn, which they'll be then able to be flipped over and they can be utilized for the turn after that. Um, and that's pretty much the idea of the game, trying to get the ball from one side of the board into the goal of your opponent, resetting when you score, getting three scores before your opponent does. Uh, it's pretty simple in nature, but has a little bit of complexity and theme, and is much quicker than I thought, which we'll talk about in my review. So Gridball is a bit of a mix of strategy and a little bit of luck, because you will be utilizing your abstract tactics, moving your characters, and you will also be utilizing the die, whether it be the short 
short, long, or both ranges in order to score goals. Uh, the first thing I did like about this game was how quick the rounds were. I wasn't really prepared for it, and in fact it kind of threw me off at first, because if you make a poor mistake, it can cost you, which is going to be a plus or a minus, depending on who you are. If you don't like to see an abstract game in which you're using dice, this probably isn't going to be for you, first of all. And also, if you don't like the idea of rounds ending very quickly, if you make mistakes, or you make bad choices, or try and make a chance shot, it's likely that it could end not in your favor. But whenever it does, it's kind of a nice thing, like a Hail Mary across the board here. Um, another cool thing about the game is being able to check players, throwing them off balance, uh, creating your strategy after your first game and organizing how you want to place your characters out is a nice thing as well. The quality of the game components is excellent. I like the little pieces. It feels good to move them around the grid. It's easy to understand where to move them, where the ball is going to go, and how you're going to want to have things go in the perfect world when playing the game. And of course, eh, this is not a perfect world, and likely things will go awry, and it could cost you each time you try and make a risky choice. Uh, players are going to be attempting to steal balls from each other, which is fun, and it does feel like your characters are moving around on a grid. It kind of reminds me of one of those old school Nintendo games when you're playing um, one of those kind of uh, basketball or, or, or football or any of those type of games where you're moving the balls on the grid and you're trying to move your little little dot around. That's what it feels like and it kind of made me reminiscent of those old school Atari slash Nintendo style sports games, which was great for me. I personally really enjoy that. If that's not your thing, then also maybe not for you. Another thing to note too is uh, because you can shoot the ball so far, there's going to be certain instances where it's uh, impossible for your opponents to get to those locations. And what I think a cool variant for the game would be is utilizing the single die and the, the short and the long range die more. What I'd like to see actually is in order for you to make a goal, you have to actually shoot it in exactly. That would be really cool. So as opposed to just ch chucking a Hail Mary when you're right here and nobody else is around you, then instead you can roll these guys here and you have to get exact. And if not, it'll bounce. And if it bounces, Maybe it was like it hit the net or the top of the it hit the top of the, the net here or the, like the pole or maybe it was blocked by the goalie. So it kind of gives you um, you have to be more accurate and choose your shots a little more wisely when it comes to actually making those goals. Uh, yes, the round's probably going to end uh, and maybe give the other player an extra turn or two to try and coordinate so they can make it back. Um, but the rounds will be a lot longer. So I know it's kind of maybe not in the spirit of the game but I do really, really like that idea of forcing the players to kind of be more accurate, especially when trying to make a Hail Mary shot from all the way over here and not being blocked. Rolling these two dice, bam, nine, it's going to make it and no player can stop me. But when having to roll this um, or roll these, I need a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's gonna be a little more difficult, a four and a three, as opposed to a five and a three, or even a six and a three. And you have to make that choice of whether I want to move the character along the grid or whether I would just like to take the chance, even though it's a lot lower. Whereas, of course, if you're over here with a shot of getting three, you can take this one here and it's a 50-50 shot for you to get it. Regardless though, fun game, enjoyable. If you don't mind a, a slightly luck-based, uh, tactical, abstract game, then grid ball is going to be your thing. This is something you can play in, in like a short span of time, whether it be like a filler game or if you want to make a night of it and have multiple grid ball boards out for all players to play and kind of make a little tournament. Overall, a fun, enjoyable game. Go ahead and take a look down below. Link in the description for the game Grid Ball by Vector7 Games. All right, guys, thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Grid Ball. If you're interested, like I said before, link in the description. You can also check out our website, unfilteredgamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, kicks, or lists, and more. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you can see more videos just like this one. Our live streams are every Sunday at 7.30 p.m. PST. We can see us play games literally just like this one every single week. It's a lot of fun. We greatly enjoy your guys' company there. And of course, you can win games there too. And finally, go ahead and check us out on Patreon. If you'd like to donate a buck a month, it'll help us with our live stream costs. It'll help us with our Discord costs and uh, shipping costs for giveaways. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this time. And as always, I look forward to playing some grid ball with you next time.